So sometimes there are things that we know and sometimes things that we just don't know. And using tools to help us find the unknown is one of the most powerful tools in mathematics as well as science. So today we will look, be looking at functions where we use these rules that we have determined to find these unknowns. So before we start, click that like button, hit the bell and subscribe. Let's get down into it. And so now we have the tools to find the functions when we are given some inputs and some outputs. And we have been able to use these functions to determine values in tables. And so let us look at a question where we are combining each of these aspects, where we determine a function and then use that function to calculate unknowns. And so let us jump straight into it, determine the following function. And so let us look at the outputs. I go from negative 12 or, or positive 12, sorry, to 10, to 8, to 6, and to 4. And we can see at each step, we have a constant difference of negative 2. And so I know I'm going to start with my output y equaling the constant difference multiplied by n. And then I'm adding or subtracting something. But what is that that I'm subtracting? Well, I will always look at, to make it easiest, the first example, the first input and output. And so what is my output? My output is 12. And so by using my formula, I'm going to say negative 2. And what is that input? That position is negative 4. And then I add or subtract something to get to 12. So let us have a look now. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 4 is positive 8. Now what do I add or subtract? to positive 8 to get to 12, well, I still need to add another 4. And so that plus 4, that is going to be my constant that is added there. So I can rewrite my general formula or my function as to be negative 2n plus 4. And now I can use this function to determine any other missing values, such as my m here and my n there. All right, so let us look then at our first. So when I calculate my m value, that will be my output. And so my output, when my input is 17. And so I have my function, my function is y equals negative 2n plus 4. And what I'm looking for is the specific value of y when my input is 17. And so I will simply say negative 2 multiplied by 17 add 4. And some calculator work should tell you that that would be the same as negative 30. And so that would be my value for m. But now let's have a look at calculating our value for n. That is our input. And so how does this change our calculations? Well, let's have a look. Let's use our formula and calculate our value for n. Now the question is, is n an input or an output? That's right, that is an input. And so we know that we will be using the function of y equals negative 2n plus 4. And so what is my output in this case? Well, the output they have given us, negative 48. And what is my input? Well, my, negative in, my input is negative 2n plus 4. And now we simply have some algebra. So if you've missed those lessons on algebra, please pause this video and go back first. But we are simply going to solve for n in this case. And so first I take this negative 2n term across the equation and it becomes positive 2n. And this negative 48 goes across and it becomes positive 48 plus 4. And so some simplification is going to tell me that this is 52. And finally, 
Solving for n by dividing both sides with 2 gives me that n is 26. And so, therefore, now I have been able to calculate any variable, any unknown in this table, as long as I can calculate first the function. So go ahead. It might take a few steps, but always remember, first try and calculate your function, and then from there, everything else I can find. And so remember to do your best and pray for the rest.